Yeah, I'm, I, I remember, you know, I knew that if I got to the third round of the Australian Open, I'll be playing Pete Sampras. You know, this was 19, um, you know, this is actually, what is this, 90, 97, what was it? 96, 96 Australian Open. I was 19 years old and I was, you know, I knew, I saw the draw and I said, you know, if I get the third round, I'm playing Pete Sampras. And so I was in a third round and we played a night match, you know, I was a local um, up and coming Australian player and, and I knew it was going to be a night match and walking down the corridor and he's walking in front of me. I'm like, all right, I'm going to play the, you know, is Pete in front of me right now as number one player in the world. About to step out and send a court at 14,000 people, completely sold out, night match. You know, night matches is always a buzz in the crowd of night matches. Um, and this is it. This is, this is what you've been watching when, you know, these, this is the situation that you dream of when you're a kid. That's what you work hard on, to put yourself in situations like this, in, in, in moments like this. And, and the other thing I'm thinking is, I've got nothing to lose, number one. I'm a teenager. No one's expecting me to win. I'm playing the number one player in the world, you know, who's been number one for the past six years, who's dominating. I've got nothing left to lose. So I'm gonna go out there and I'm not gonna play scared. You know, one thing is the way I've played is I've, I've played with a lot of power, but I, I didn't play with any fear at all when I played. You know, I was kind of fearless. I, I would go for shots, but I believed in myself when I went for the shots. I would go for second serve aces, but know that I was gonna make those second serves. And, and that's how it started. And I, and I started on there and it, that's how I went for the whole match. I was in a zone. I, you know, was hitting winners, aces, running around, smacking forehand winners. I wasn't intimidated at all by who he was. I respected him, but I didn't have too much respect for him on the court. You know, I didn't respect anyone too much on the court because you don't want to have too much respect for someone. Uh, I respected him on and off the court, but I'm not going to have too much respect for him. Um, so I went out there and, and like I said, I had nothing to lose. I was aggressive and I thought if I'm going to lose this match, I'm going to lose and play my game. You know, I'm going to play the way I want to play, not play into his game. And um, it was one of those days where, you know, athletes talk about being in the zone and remembering certain, you know, points clearly and things in slow motion. That was kind of where I was at, you know. It was, one of the, it was definitely one of those matches where I was in the zone.